Hey everybody, it's Brian. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing Quadlock's wireless charger head. Hey guys, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing and giving this a thumbs up and hitting that notification bell. It really helps my channel grow and really helps me provide better content and allow me to know what the kind of content that you're enjoying so I can produce more of it. Full disclosure, Quadlock sent me this wireless charging head for review. Um, I've been very happy with Quadlock products and I wanted to add it to my current setup that I have now. Now, if you've seen some of the other videos that I've put out, the 2014 Ultra Limited is a fantastic motorcycle. The one issue I have with it though, is because the GPS is mounted so low from my height, it's very hard to see when you're rocking a full face helmet. So what I did is uh, went ahead and installed this quad lock last year and I have the anti-vibration system on it and it's uh, held up really great for my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, does really well on the road. It, it stabilizes enough that you can see it, but it doesn't send those vibrations into the camera to screw up the uh, camera on your phone or anything like that. So this is the wireless charging head. This is gonna be a very simple install. So we're not even gonna need the instructions. So Motor Blonde, if you're watching, that's for you. So this is the wireless charging head. Maybe this video is gonna be a little bit longer because I can't get out of the box. <laughs> so this is the wireless charging head. That's gonna go ahead and replace this head here. So to mount your phone on it, you simply push down and it pops out a little bit. And I'll show you that a little bit further. It also comes with a USB cable. And this is a USB-A to USB-C. You, know, you can use this uh, depending on what sort of mounting adapter you have on your bike. This is the uh, setup that they include. Now, what I went ahead and did was I purchased this, which is a USB-C fast charger from Verizon. So this is gonna give me USB-C with a, with a uh, power outlet. Since I have a power outlet on the Ultra, it's gonna make it really simple for the bike to charge. I'm sorry, for the uh, phone to charge, because you don't have to worry about any sort of connectors. It just plugs in and I'm good to go. So it's gonna make it a little bit more streamlined. So let's go ahead and get this installed. This is gonna be really simple. All we're gonna do is take the included Allen key, spin this off, Probably be best to cover your tank in case you have the oopsies like I tend to have, but we'll just be real careful. We're gonna pull this off, as you can see, super simple. I'm gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna include, or uh, sorry, we're gonna add the wireless charger. We're gonna put the charging dot on the bottom so we can tell it has power. And that then include, puts the port up top. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to run. I'm just gonna go ahead and Lock this down, drop in our Allen key. And it's really gonna be that simple. That is all there is to it. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pull out this cigarette lighter. It's gonna have the red adapter here. Obviously, they're all gonna be a little different. Just gonna slide this in the back. Push that in so we have power. Like I said, depending on your bike setup, you might wanna do this a little bit differently, but since I had the cigarette lighter, I'm just gonna use this. We're gonna drop this behind the bars. Plug this into the bike, and we're all set. We're gonna turn on the bike. You're gonna see that this has flashing power indicating it's working. Then all I need to do is take my phone out. What I do and I find easier is if you pull in the back here, it makes it a little bit easier to mount your phone. Pull it back, pop that in. As you can see, we're charging. So now we have wireless charging. Really like this because if you stop somewhere, you do this, you're off the bike and you're gone. Makes it really simple and convenient. There's no having to have a cable running to put into the the bike itself to uh, apply charging or anything like that or having a charging cable having separate it just holds very simple so you're just grabbing it popping it on when you're ready to ride you can throw it in landscape position 
So it is here, which is the position I run for my GPS, makes it really effective. The thing that I like most about this is it brings the modern technology of live maps and all the other GPS function to your, from your phone to your bike. I also can then use my uh, voice to speech I'm sorry, voice to command, whatever they call this button here. If I press that on the Ultra and I have the phone connected to Bluetooth, I can talk to Siri and have Siri get me directions for the closest gas station or anything like that. So I've been very happy with the quad lock system. I ran it last year. I've added this uh, wireless charging this year. I will recommend the anti-vibration mount. It's huge if you're running the newer iPhones. Why risk your phone? Especially if you're gonna be leaving this on for a long trip. Uh, again, can't say enough about quad lock. I'm really happy with them. I also have the rain pouch. Even though this is a, a waterproof phone, I could put the pouch on top of it to cover it. They also make um, a little finger lanyard that you can put so you have like a pop so you can hold your phone if you're walking. They have tripod accessories. They make a great lineup of products. Really simple solution to bring your 2014 Harley Davidson into the modern age so you can run Waze, Apple Maps, Google Maps, the Harley app, anything you want so you're not gonna get lost out on the road. And like I said, it's really great being able to use your voice assistant and getting those, uh, being able to ask for what the closest gas station is, things like that when you're out on the road, so you can do it hands-free. That's all I had. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell. Greatly appreciate it, hope to see you in the next video. And as always, please remember, you're not alone.